This broadcast is made possible thanks to the partners and friends of Greater Grace Temple. Remember, partnership is powerful. Together, we can always do so much more. And so we invite you to become a Grace Covenant partner and join with us in touching the world around us with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. For more information, visit us at greatergrace.org or call us at 313-543-6000. you were to ask a hundred different people what they're looking for in a church, they'd probably give you a hundred different answers. A life-changing word, an anointed music ministry, a place of genuine love, care, and support, a multiplicity of programs and outreaches that extend beyond the walls of the church. Most people would look for a church with a strong foundation, yet is open and receptive to 21st century ministry applications and methodologies. That's our vision and our mission here at Greater Grace Temple, the City of David. I'm Bishop Charles H. Ellis III, Senior Pastor, and Amazing Grace starts right now. I want to make a mark in life. All of us ought to want to hope that when I'm dead and gone and when I'm buried, that my works are still following me, that what I have done is still blessing people. I don't want everything that God has given me to go with me to the grave. I don't want all my talents and gifts to go to the grave with me because the grave can't give God no glory. The grave cannot praise the Lord. So I would hope that I've done something while I'm here that when I'm gone, a piece of me is still here blessing and a a piece of me is still here testifying of the goodness of the Lord. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to leave a mark. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to leave your name. People name buildings after themselves so that when they're gone, the building will still declare their influence. And people will know that they existed and that they mattered in life. So these people say, we going to do something so that when our time comes to an end, somebody will know that we were here. Somebody will know that we passed this way. And they didn't just talk it. They began to work it. Tell a neighbor, you got to work it. You got to work it. First, they conjured up in their mind that what we're going to do is we're going to build a city. And we're going to build this tower. And the tower is going to be so high until it is going to reach even into the heavens. Now, when God sees what these people are doing, because they ain't just sitting on the couch watching TV, talking about where they're going and ain't going nowhere, talking about what they're going to do and they ain't doing nothing, talking about what they're going to be and they're not anything. But these people are making brick and they're burning them thoroughly in the fire. These people have slime and mortar so they ain't waiting on nobody to give them nothing. They ain't waiting on nobody to deliver them nothing. They're making their resources and their raw material right there themselves. And there are too many people that are sitting around waiting on God to do what you ought to be getting up and doing yourself. There are too many people talking about what you're going to do as soon as the Lord as soon as the Lord what he done already gave you a vision begin to work that vision begin to talk that vision begin to walk that vision begin to live that vision is there anybody that still got a dream left in you is there anybody that's got a vision and aspiration is there something in life that you want to do is there something in life that you want to accomplish so these folks Say we ain't waiting on nobody. We gonna build us a tower. They start making bricks. They start making slime for mortar so that the bricks will fasten one to the other. And before you know it, their talk has turned into action. And now their actions have turned into something that is visible. And now what they have conjured in their mind has become something that you can see and you can look at. And every day is going from this level to that level and going from that level to this level and going from this level to that level until they get God's attention. 
Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. When you get God's attention, God's getting ready to do something. I wish I had a witness up in here. When you get God to notice what you're doing, he's getting ready to do something. If what you're doing is in the will of God, he's getting ready to make things easy for you. He's getting ready to put an anointing on you so that you can move in double speed and double time and triple speed and triple time. Am I talking to anybody that God gave you a vision? You start walking in that vision. You took one step and he took two. You took two steps. He took five. You took five steps and he took 15. Am I talking to anybody up in here? So they get God's attention. And the Bible says here in Genesis chapter 11, verse number 5, and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. So they ain't talking, but they doing it done got up out of their mind and it has become manifest. It has become physical. Is there anybody in here that know God doesn't want your dream just to be in your mind? At some point in time, you got to get it out your mind and get it on paper. Then get it off paper and get it to something that you can see and put your hands on. Is there anybody that's got a made up mind to do something? I got a made up mind to work my dream. Got a made up mind to work my vision got a made up mind to work my aspirations is there anybody in here that's got a made up mind so God comes to see what these people are building and the Lord said behold the people are one somebody say unified they are one and they all have one language and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do in other words uh, when you get on one accord and when you have unity God can move uh, in the midst of you uh, is there anybody that know God doesn't work in confusion God doesn't work in chaos uh, God does not work in conflict but if you can become unified if you can be har work in harmony if you can have cooperative effort you can make to see God do something maybe he ain't healing right now because we got too much confrontation in the church maybe we can't feel the anointing because we got people that are putting themselves before worship maybe we can't see a mighty move of God because we got too many agendas in here but is there anybody that will strip yourself of your motives and strip yourself of your agendas and say Lord have your way so he comes down and he sees that they are doing what they have made up in their mind to do because they are unified they got one language they got one dialect and the Lord when he sees it he says go to let us go down and there confound or confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech because one thing that the Lord knows uh, is that you can all have in your mind to do something but if you cannot communicate it to each other then all that you have in your mind doesn't mean a thing so the Lord came down uh, and he began to confuse their language and he scattered them all abroad the face of the earth until they forgot and left off building the city in other words they forsook their dream they forsook 